All right, day 1,247. Starting on the upper cabinets, I threw that one up real quick because it was easy. And now I'm gonna try to get these corner ones up while I have my little elf. So, let's start throwing them up. Let's see how it goes. to each other. Although this one came out really like obviously it'll I'll have to pinch it. But this one is not off. We'll have to shim the back before we secure it. But uh, overall they're I mean they were level decently so that's good. This corner cabin was actually a little less level than the other one. I was worried about the other side but so then in between here we'll get a filler piece like this guy. That once we get this set in stone, I did kind of just bump it around so that this measurement is the same as that measurement. Um, these will have panels, gray panels on the side, just like this one does. That's the only panel I've installed so far. Um, there'll be a gray panel on the side of this one. There'll be a gray panel on the side of this one. And then the shelf that goes here is a small nine inch shelf. It's already gray. It's a different color gray though than the rest of our cabinets. I think we knew that when we ordered it. So I think we're actually gonna paint it like a completely different color, maybe like a dark green or just whatever kind of accent color we want in here because the doors are gonna be this light gray all throughout. The countertop is gonna be a black quartz. And then I think we're gonna do like a white subway tile. So then we could kind of maybe just do a uh, pop of color with this little, this little shelf actually has like four little like wooden pull out drawers and you keep spices or whatever in it. Um, so then once I get that installed, I'll have to kind of maybe move this shelf around, figure out so that there's a perfect gap between when we have the range up. Not sure how, or the vent, sorry. Not sure how wide it is. I imagine it might be just as wide, 30 inches like the stove. But once I install that, that'll probably be a, a day all in and of itself. But, the uppers are up and they were actually, for, I mean, it's a lot easier when you have help, but the cabinets aren't too heavy. It was just a little awkward because the lower cabinets are in, but I mean, we got them up and now I'll just get everything shimmed, leveled, locked in and then secured to the wall and then those should be done. I could actually probably start putting, well, I could start putting the doors on and all the stuff inside, but actually I still have to run the under cabinet lights and might be a little bit harder if we start putting stuff in them. So we'll see, but uppers are done. Let me kind of back up so we can kind of get a full scope of it all. You can kind of see it coming. Obviously this cabinet right here goes over the fridge, but I haven't even hung that rail yet. So I guess my next thing will be, I got to pull the fridge out, pull it up a pretty good bit, hang that rail. And then I have to do the big cover panels that go on both sides of the fridge. Those things are freaking heavy, dude. So, not looking forward to that. They're on the other side of that couch. You can see that long cardboard. Those are the two big fridge panels. So, I'll probably need help doing those. So, but there you go. Uppers hanging. 
Not not completely done, but they're up and hanging. There you have it. All right. Now the last you saw, I was hanging all these. They're all up, but now we have the addition of this guy. I had to cut these panels to fit. They were massive. I had to cut them down and rip them long ways. Cut that one. Hung that one with the rail. And then had to cut that one. Secured all those. So now we got the refrigerator surround. These are all secured to each other. And then this one's secured to the wall. That one is not. That one's secured to the wall. That one is not. That one I want to leave movable. Um, and then this gap, I have to fill in, but it is not perfect. I'm going to have to figure out what I want to do there. It's about a quarter of an inch, maybe less off. So I'll have to figure that out. But if we take a step back now, you could really kind of show the song and dance for my Samsung oven. You kind of get a good feel for how it's looking. So I think that's where we're going to stop for today. Tomorrow they're coming to install new windows in the basement and then that window and then the one on the stairs. So while they're doing that, I might try to cut that filler piece, get that in. And then I'll probably be working on replacing just a bunch of the old can lights and a lot of the exterior lights. So that'll be tomorrow. But pretty good for end of day. So we'll stop there.